I'm coming to you with a special, 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 like, unboxing today. I've been waiting for this for, what, coming on two years? And I thought, hey, like, why not do something for it and show people what comes with it? Instead of obviously being a bit of a dipshit like I've done in previous videos, I thought I'd be a bit more serious and show off the amazing Ultimate Songbird Edition. Um, you may have to bear with me at times, I will be putting down the camera to obviously <coughs> show what's in the box and you may get weird angles as you are at the moment but um, yeah hope this is half enjoyable at least um, as you can see you've got like the Bioshock infinite emblem on the top on the right hand side of the box we've got the main character booker let me take this out of the bag um yeah, we've got that booker on the right hand side which is pretty cool and elizabeth on the left with a little piece of columbia in the background uh back nothing special but let's open this bad boy up and take a look at what everyone's who's buying this game is looking forward to um, excuse me for a second people <sighs> there we go right as you open it up you've got the murder of the crows vigor which if I open this up See, oh, it's a lot smaller than what I anticipated that it would be, but quite a cool little keyring nonetheless. Um, I can get out. So, sorry about the picture, I thought it'd be a bit better quality. Um, we go. Murder of the Crows Vigor, which is pretty cool as a Kieran. Uh, put that back in there. Yeah, just put that aside. Uh, and here is the Handyman game piece for the upcoming Bioshock Infinite board game that's coming out. Which is very nice. Uh, pull this out show you it's only a tiny little thing but it's fairly detailed for what it is I'm really sorry about this picture I actually thought it would be a bit better quality than this but you can see the little handyman very cool oh there we go it's actually focusing um yeah quite a nice little piece for someone if they're going to get the board game so it's pretty cool and then obviously yeah uh, stuff that back in the box quite nice that everything's like boxed and whatever else then obviously we've got the game the part that no one really wants to miss out on um, and what you get with this? Right, got DLC for two Bioshock Infinite Avatar items, which are, if I can see, uh, Booker dress up if you have a male avatar, and an Elizabeth one for if you're a female. Um, you get DLC for an upgrade pack, which gives you Ball Rush. Extra, extra, and betrayer. Ball rush is a melee strike uh, from a sprint. Have a chance to knock the enemy down. Um, extra, extra. Audio logs also grant a bounty of silver eagles, the in-game currency. Betrayer, which is killing your possessed human enemies, causes them to explode, dealing damage. So that's pretty cool. A nice little thing. Go. Okay, then we've got. 
the soundtrack code, which I would imagine you enter online. Nice art on the back of it, uh, on the front even. And then obviously all the details. And then, I thought this was quite cool. You get like the lithograph print of the Devil's Kiss, which is quite nice. It's only a flimsy bit of card, but still pretty cool. You've got like, I think FM, MFG on the bottom. And then you've got like the devil and the man carrying him on his shoulders. Uh, one of the other cool little bits about the game is that you get a <clears throat> a very nice like art book. Um, as you can see, very nice detail on it. Doesn't want to focus, which is always great. <laughs> All the character designs for Elizabeth, which is pretty nice. I won't show too much, but oh, it does not want to focus. Um, yeah, and then showing Booker, which is pretty cool. The way I actually remember him being in the early trailers. But they obviously changed it and made him look a lot older. And then the Nefarious Songbird. So that's pretty cool. Um, but enough of that. Uh, put that down with the rest of the stuff. Had a bit of a clear out because, to be fair, the space that I need for this is pretty extraordinary. Um, one second, people. Very, very carefully ease it out of the box. Uh, slides out a bit too fast. It's always great. And then, I'm really sorry to disappoint, but I'm not going to be taking it out of the box. But I will show you what it comes with. Uh, how it comes, even. We've got Songbird saying about how it's the protector of the city, the Sentinel got like old 1912 style designs which is quite cool a lot of explanations saying about what the songbird is and <coughs> what its purpose is nice little picture of this songbird overlooking Colombia which is also very nice very well done and then a picture of Elizabeth and the songbird. Friend of the fair and faithful. Funny that they would put her. Then you've got a nice little American emblem on the top with the songbird heading it. Uh, and then, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, it's quite a nice little haul. Cost me a hundred and ten pounds, so fairly expensive. But to be fair, I reckon it's worth every single penny that I've paid. Um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I hope that it's been slightly informative. Um, if it has, drop me a comment, and yeah, we'll see if I can show you. I don't know. Uh, more games in the future. Take care, people.